Flannery Letter. She is the head of the Department of Research Division at Korea Development Institute or KDI School of Public Policy and Management. Before joining KDI School in 2008, she worked at the National Assembly as a policy assistant. She has participated in KDI School's mission on capturing knowledge of Korea's development ex experiences through rigorous research and global knowledge sharing programs, including the Knowledge Partnership with the World Bank Group. Her research interests are in development economics and international knowledge cooperation. She received her PhD in development policy from KDI School of Public Policy and Management. Everyone, let's give a round of applause to Dr. Paul Mignon. Korean economic development. 
And <coughs> Korea's absolute poverty also declined steeply from 40% in 1965 to less than 10% entering one, um, 1980s. So the absolute poverty line is defined uh, Korean 120, uh, Korean one, like Shibi, Shibi man, uh, approximately uh, 170 US dollars uh, at, uh, per month in 1981 uh, for a standardized member family. So one family at least need uh, 170 US dollars uh, for living at, in 1981. And uh, during uh, 19 uh, there was a dramatic poverty reduction in urban areas uh, thanks to the export-oriented industrialization uh, focus on labor-intensive manufacturing. And so at that time, the urban dollar uh, income gap was uh, widened. But in 1970s, there was a significant uh, poverty reduction in rural area thanks to the rural development program. Uh, as you already know, including the Sema Rindong, which is a nationwide campaign for rural development. So the rural and urban uh, gap was you know, decreased, and we, uh, the poverty, uh, Korea's poverty rate is under the 10% uh, in And um, in, uh, I know um, many of you already know Korea very well. I was really you know, uh, moved uh, uh, during the last two weeks today that you know Korea so well, uh, better than me. Thank you so much for your all the attention and interest in, in Korea. Um, it's very touching. And uh, this is the basic information about Korea. So our territorial area is slightly smaller than Britain if we reunited. And uh, compared to Philippines, the area of South Korea is uh, about And uh, as you know, uh, we don't have much natural resources. Uh, we got actually nothing in terms of natural resources. We have, we just have some content. Uh, however, uh, in an increasingly integrated uh, global economy, uh, resource abundance is not as important for development um, as access uh, to input at the international prices. Uh, nations economic performance largely depends on its ability to enhance uh, its relatively immobile factors of production to attract mobile uh, factors of production. And uh, we also have relatively cheap educating course, uh, labor course. It was a comparative advantage of Korea in the 1970s. So uh, there are many studies and debates regarding uh, factors on Korea's uh, economic development. But most of them agree that those six factors are actually contributing to the development. The strong political leadership, which was willing to respond uh, to social needs and ability to build the bureaucracy to implement the strategies. So uh, they can uh, make a multi-year plan which provides a blueprint and helps people to understand where the government wants to take the nation for a long term. And the uh, export, export-oriented industrialization was also an important uh, drive. And hard-working educated workforce provided a strong uh, foundation. <laughs> and high saving and investment rate and business government uh, collaboration was also uh, the contributing factor. We, uh, we had, of course, side effects like table problem, you know, uh, but our best is issue that uh, that is not the main point that I would like to address today. Uh, and lastly, luckily, we had a late movers of advantages. So combining, combining those factors, we had a dramatic changes. I cannot amaze that my parents and my grandparents uh, live those uh, chances. I assume many of you uh, visited Korea before. So this is the uh, right side is Seoul and uh, left side is Busan in 1950s and 1960s. 
development learning network and GDI project, uh, global delivery initiative project. The KDI school participates in those project as a main partner. And UNDP also sets a new strategy framework for knowledge management and OECD. OECD actively involved with uh, knowledge sharing alliance. The international community is paying attention to the knowledge from, uh, knowledge sharing. And KDI has uh, kept close collaboration with those international organizations and implements uh, diverse activities based on the fully premise. So Korea transformed uh, after the World War II from eight ABC uh, country from uh, donor country. So as mentioned actually yesterday uh, by Professor Ashim, the building of U.S. Embassy in Korea uh, in Seoul was built by the aid, um, official aid from the Philippines in 1960s, 1760s. And, uh, but Korea now became the member of OECD DAC, uh, Development uh, Assistance Committee, uh, as a 24th uh, member country uh, in 2010. Uh, thanks to the help the international uh, communities aid provided by you know, international community, including uh, Philippines. So as a donor country, Korea uh, bridge, Korea tried to bridge between the least developed countries and more developed countries. The process has enabled to Korea to accumulate invaluable and critical lessons not funded in conventional textbooks. Uh, the experiences and challenges that Korea faces are relevant and applicable to current developed countries. Since uh, the developed countries like US and Europe are already, uh, it's been it's 200 years ago experience, right? But in contrast, Korea's experience is uh, relatively very new. It's uh, more than to applicable, applicable to current situation. So uh, to better share our experience uh, with the international community, as I said, Korea Knowledge Sharing Program launched in 2004. Uh, it is a policy-oriented development uh, cooperation program based on the Korean development experience. Uh, we try to support institutional and capacity of foreign countries uh, through the KSP program. So, uh, knowledge for development was the key background of KSP. And KSP is not a transfer of knowledge, it's a mutual learning. It is uh, based on the knowledge partnership to enhance the capacity of all participating players uh, of both sides. So, KSP actually value local knowledge. And KSP facilitates uh, self, self knowledge exchange which include, uh, encourages a uh, cross-country partnership that can help uh, strengthen local ownership and leadership of development issue by uh, providing certain time support on how to. So the KSP comprised of three parts, the systematic and modularization of Korea's development experiences into case studies, and the second one is policy consultation through knowledge sharing uh, with partner countries. And third, the uh, joint consulting with multinational development uh, banks for developing countries. So those are three projects uh, are the main uh, components of KSP. <laughs> the modernization of Korea's development experience uh, traces back to uh, policy inception and the way it, is, it was implemented. So the case study, the modernization is case study based on case, case study, also evaluate the policies outcome and seek to draw uh, lessons and insights from a global comparative perspective. And there includes a uh, research review and surveys and in-depth interviews with the policy practitioners and experts who play a key role uh, in implementation. 
So uh, the KDA school, uh, under the supervision of the Ministry of Economy and uh, Finance of Korea, implemented KSP modularization project from 2010 to 2015. So in total, 148 cases in eight thematic areas were accumulated. So you can access all the contents uh, through KSP official website or K developing website. I was trying to show some videos, but uh, because of the technical problem, I, can, I cannot uh, show it. But if you uh, visit the K Developedia website, I can get the, all the information about the Korean economic development, all the case studies, all the documents that you need. So I really want to uh, uh, get, tell you about that. The K Developedia is an open access repository established to allow easy, easy access to the resources on Korea's past 70 years of development experience uh, provided by KDEXPO. So you can get all the information uh, from there. Uh, and it's, it's free. And, and you can get the low data as well. <coughs> as I mentioned in the uh, previous chapter, and we also produce the science of delivery case studies in collaboration with the World Bank. Uh, based on the KSP modularization project. So we select, we select uh, frequently asked you know, uh, theme from primary countries and modify our case uh, focus on their policy delivery. So you can get the full case from the World Bank website or Global Delivery Initiative website or KDLPDA uh, or, or those uh, case studies. In um, the second part of KSP, uh, that I say, uh, the KSP consultation, if we say uh, KSP, uh, normally we mean this KSP consultation program. So, Ministry of Economy and Finance launched KSP in 2004 with uh, KDI playing a key and uh, critical role for those uh, programs. So KSP is knowledge intensive uh, development cooperation program which supplies uh, Korea's own development experiences to find solutions for development challenges primary countries are facing. So we actually provide practical consultation based on the Korea's uh, successful uh, transform transformation. So this is especially true in comparison with the advice offered by advanced uh, industrial industrial nations which may not uh, reflect the development issues of today. And uh, private consulting company may read uh, policy experiences based on the tangible outcome. So we have uh, we launched this program. And these are the program area for consultation. Uh, it is based on the Korean comparative advantages and areas that KDI's uh, policy research area. Um, many of them are the field of economic development and as reflected by the development partner countries are considered. So the KSP consultation aims to contribute to capacity uh, development and institution building by addressing uh, specific policy challenges. So activities, uh, key, key activities uh, include interviews and meetings and joint research and dialogue and study tour and seminars with view towards uh, building cross-country uh, and within country partnerships. So this is the composition of KSP consultation program. The KSP team uh, identify and analyze and conduct research on current policy issue of partner country uh, where case studies are reviewed. Uh, based on policy research, the KSP team discuss the current uh, development uh, issues and policy, uh, and policy alternatives with the top uh, policy makers and heads of the relevant organization from a uh, partner country. And uh, to enhance policy capacity, the officials and experts from partner countries are visited to Korea. It's a capacity building seminar, uh, like one week or two weeks. They participate in the series of seminars uh, 
own career development experience and vision, rather than a Korean institution to be a policy network. And the KSP team used the vision-based approach in order to align uh, from uh, project activities to high-level goals and outcomes. So this is very informative chart on KSP knowledge uh, management for your information. <laughs> and uh, this is also an informative chart on KSP uh, knowledge management. So MMOEF. Uh, Ministry of Economy and Finance, they changed the name, it's uh, not NYSF, it's MOEF, is the Ministry, of, uh, Ministry in Charge. And for the director, KSD, uh, KDI, and Kotra, Kotra is a trade in and trade in investment agency, and Korea Exit Bank play, uh, plays as implementing agency using their own expertise. KIA is, uh, has expertise in economic development experiences and policy issues, and Kotra is in you know, trade and investment. Korea um, Tech is uh, their own expertise for the consultation. And here are the global uh, knowledge partnership through KSD. Uh, in total, in total of so far, nine and uh, eight, uh, eighty-five partner countries and nine international organizations on board the uh, KSD project. Uh, and after joining DAC, as I said, we joined the DAC yes, Development Assistance uh, Committee of OECD in 2010. And after joining the DAC in 2010, the volume of case has been uh, increased, that uh, double. Um, and uh, this table shows the topic by sector uh, conducted by KSP program. Uh, at the early age of KSP, uh, there are many requests uh, from partner countries regarding the economic planning and industrial uh, policy, export promotion policy, uh, very macro level uh, policies. But these days, our uh, consultation is uh, more specific and detailed uh, consultation is conducted as requested by uh, partner countries. In case of within the same, uh, in total, uh, by region, about 1,000 projects were conducted. Uh, as you can see, there are regional variations worldwide. And uh, there are also several KSP consultation projects with Philippines as well. Uh, as the most recent project uh, with the Department of Information and Communication Technology of Philippines, uh, the Philippine National Broadband Plan was consulted by KDI um, and also with the Nation, uh, nation Home Mortgage Finance Corporation of Philippines. The policy consultation regarding reverse mortgage program in Philippines uh, is conducted in 2017 and 18. So, uh, plus, uh, collaboration with the Philippine government on KSP. And uh, it has been 15 years since KSP launches, so there are some successful uh, examples of KSP consultations so far, like Vienna, Uzbekistan, and Dominican Republic. It's a, we had a, a multi-year project with them, with KDI. So actual policy was you know, uh, taken to uh, action in their country after the consultation. We have a tangible outcomes uh, in the some countries. And this is a very typical way to be involved with a KSP program. So the partner country uh, prepared the official letter and the written demands are made form and in general. And the planning actually, planning for KSP program uh, started from two years before uh, the actual implementation. So in case of 2021 KSP, the submission was finalized in 2019, September. It's already uh, closed for 2021 KSP program. And among those applica uh, applications, MOEF, the Ministry of Economy and Finance, and KDI review and select the, the project. So, um, yeah. Or the consultation uh, project also could be developed by the summit. Maybe you know, 
if the program can be developed uh, during the Soviet last you know, next week, uh -huh. with uh, President Terry and President Jane, or an uh, important, important international event, we can um, develop the agenda. <laughs> So, in conclusion, uh, let me discuss the challenges and uh, opportunities of our KSD program. So, through this uh, process, there are lessons learned uh, through our past and current uh, experiences. So, we need detailed consultation demand with our over ambitious objectives, having you know, from the final countries. Um, Without, without over ambitious objectives, having consistent with their nation's existing uh, sector strategies for a better outcome. And we also uh, need to better understand of knowledge area for that. And high level officials' improvement in knowledge and behavior change in motivation and attitude is needed. And we also need to prepare a detailed action plan to implement policy recommendations considering policy change uh, process are complex and involve uh, multiple actors with significant impact. And uh, we need close collaboration in the process of joint research and policy dialogue. And we need to understand and respect uh, to the multi-stakeholder different intention for the project participation maximize the opportunity to use within and cross-country network. And we need to set a clear output and outcome of this project. And uh, it's really important to maintain a strong knowledge base uh, regarding development constraints of partner countries. And uh, partnering in the production of narrowly focused projects that's based on the consultation demand. And we should uh, stress the solid knowledge provider with relevant uh, experiences and, and knowledge from KDI side. And we need to distinguish uh, between best practice and best match, whether the best practice is matchable to the current situation or of our current countries. And uh, sustain monitoring efforts and follow up after the complete uh, completion of the project is needed. It's a uh, uh, nature of this project is consultation project, so it's not easy to uh, see the right you know, outcome of, of the result. So this, these are all the lessons that we learn and should uh, keep in mind to sustain an uh, effective uh, KSD program. <laughs> and this is a knowledge sharing program is transferring to the supply driven consultative form uh, from the demand driven. So we have a specialty on things. Um, KDI has a specialty in um, the policy studies, but lack of uh, region and specific country uh, specialty yet. So uh, in, uh, as I said, due to the nature of the project, it is hard to evaluate the impact of the consultation. So it is more uh, demand from in and outside of KDI that we need to link safety consultation program with uh, economic uh, development or economic cooperation or deeper scope of cooperation with foreign countries. So this, this type of all the challenges that we have, uh, there are also new uh, opportunities like new technology for knowledge sharing and new platform for uh, global knowledge So we keep, uh, based on our case study, uh, KSB case studies, we keep revising our uh, research product for more effective sharing with partner countries. Uh, for example, we launched a MOOC, uh, massive online open course MOOC on policy lessons from South Korea's development. So you can access, you can learn uh, everything from the learning content uh, from this uh, site. So we developed this in collaboration with Berlin. And also we have another version. Uh, we developed the new course in collaboration with the uh, UNSTG Academy. So you can actually access uh, those contents uh, within the to the website. 
and also we develop very specific uh, tactics, the e-learning course uh, for uh, policy makers uh, or uh, um, uh, professionals. Uh, we actually constructed now media on, on CRDS, which is a uh, civil registration and viral data system, uh, and we draw the lesson from this uh, project. So we develop the e-learning course uh, for uh, to share uh, to other. Um, case and, and to provide you know, uh, very uh, useful information for policy practitioners of you know, similar situation. So uh, our institution uh, is a main uh, player of knowledge sharing for development. We would like to extend, this is our last slide, would like to extend the value chain for better outcomes. We will produce more knowledge product, products uh, using more recent technology to promote the effectiveness. And we would like to use those knowledge products for capacity building program uh, provided by KDS School, who are the knowledge exchange center uh, for more effective learning. And uh, during the learning, the public building program uh, during the that kind of training program, we we could find find uh, the actual bottlenecks uh, of that country and need of uh, needs for the knowledge consultation for that country. So we could develop the topics to the knowledge consultation, and this consultation project can be uh, developed to the developer finance if if needed. So this uh, that will be ideal support for the knowledge sharing. Yeah, with the international community and uh, with uh, Philippines as well. And um, in conclusion, in conclusion, um, maybe let me uh, show a brief uh, video clip of our institution because I hope to uh, some of you uh, meet in KDS4 maybe. We KDS4 uh, as a government agency, we offer. 100% scholarship for the international students. For we just, we are not, we just graduate school for master and PhD program. So annually we have more than 150 students from 70 different countries. So uh, if you are really interested in the policy, you know, uh, study or Korean development studies, uh, you can maybe apply for uh, our school if you are interested in. So let me. Uh, we will show the yeah, four minutes video clip of our school.